I hope this holds. Hey everybody, today on Feathers Off-Road we are trying to install a motorcycle windshield extension on the KTM 890 Adventure R. I don't know how many of you follow the forums. Um, seems like depending on your height, there's a buffeting issue on the 890 Adventure R. I don't really feel it that much. I'm six foot three. Uh, maybe I feel something at the top of my head if I'm really getting after it on the highway or something, but I would say generally for me this isn't a problem. However, I was getting ready to go on a really long highway ride in the summer, and I wanted to just try one of these things out to see, you know, maybe a little another four inches of wind protection might help. KTM does make something similar. This is just a cheap version that I bought off of Amazon. Comes with a couple hex key wrenches here and some kind of mechanism for clipping onto the existing windshield, but let's see if we can line this up. The Adventure R windshield is really small. Uh, great for off-roading, maybe not so great for the highway. So when I tried to line this up, I wasn't sure that it would actually fit because it's kind of wider. Um, kind of hard to hold this with one hand, but the, uh, the way that this thing grabs is kind of a pressure grab on an existing windshield that you just really crank down and then you can adjust the angle forward and back and kind of give yourself a little air bubble. I was able to finally get it on, but it, it just didn't, it didn't feel that solid. You had to really angle these things in. Um, ended up making it kind of work. I was worried that at full speed, you know, 80, 100 miles an hour, that this thing was just going to fall apart and blow away. Using the hex keys that they provided, there's two adjustments. There's kind of a vertical one on the top of each bracket, and then a horizontal one that comes in lower here that'll pinch. And so that's the one that really holds it on. There's a plastic spacer, kind of hard to see there in the middle as well, that allows it to adjust for different thicknesses. So it feels like a pretty cheap piece. I really expected it to just break off as soon as I hit the highway. I played around with different angles. There are two plastic adjustments, but I was kind of like trying to get it a little more vertical so it would throw that air up and over my head. Like I said, I'm pretty tall on this bike, so really hoping to get an air bubble up and over. Um, I tried this angle. I tried really far forward, kind of further back. I would say almost straight up was really the best. You've got these two plastic pins here that kind of lock it in once you really feel like you've got it dialed in. But like I said, there's just a couple of things on here that feel really cheap. I'm sure even the KTM one, because it looks exactly the same, I'm sure it suffers from the same problems, but like you can see that under wind, that's just going to push back. And so I just never felt great about it. And you do have these other two lower adjustments that'll hold it in place. But I will say that I lost one of those clips the first time I took this out. I think I hit 65 miles an hour. Some wind hit it, pushed it back, popped one of those out. So I would probably say save your money on this. If you really have a buffeting problem, buy a taller windshield, in my opinion. Don't go this route. So save your money. So until next time, enjoy the ride.